Welcome back. We have five brand new guests joining us today. And uh, would you like to introduce yourselves? My name is Hisham. I'm 13 years old and I'm in year nine. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Marzin. I'm 11 years old and I'm in year six. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak. Um, my name is Hassan. I'm eight years old and I'm in year four. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sarah. I'm eight years old and I'm in year three. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mariam. I'm 10 years old and I'm in year five. Wow. And would you like to wish our audience uh, Eid Mubarak? Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. So I want to ask you guys, how do you celebrate your Eid? So usually we um, wake up early. We just get ready early in the morning. Um, then we go to the masjid to read our prayer. And then after that, we usually have nashta together, breakfast together with our cousins and family. And we then we open our gifts together and eat together and it's a fun time there. Uh, do you all celebrate Eid together then? Or? Yes. yes. Yeah, we're very Always. close cousins. So. Wow. Um, what was your favourite part about this Eid? My favourite part was um, when we receive all and we get the <coughs> I have lots of savings now. Wow. How about you? Yeah, probably so. Um, receiving the gifts and money. Mm. Yourself? I like um, when we gather together and have a fun time. Um, like, you know, we have, if we're spending a longer time than usual together and having fun on the special day. Um, when we went to the park and had ice cream together, we just, my favourite part of Eid today. Um, and my favourite part of Eid was when we um, got up freshly, we met each other at the mosque. Um, when we had ice cream at the park um, um, and when we like we got uh, money, gifts and obviously eating the food. Mm. What was your favourite food? Probably the ice cream because it was like a hot, today is a hot day so um, ice cream like cooled us down. Mm -hmm. I like the ice cream and I like uh, the sea kebab we had for dinner. I like ice cream because uh, after all that stuff, it made me like kind of hot and so the icing has calmed me down. Uh, I like the steak up as well, but it's kind of spicy as well. But I really like spicy food with plant and yeah. Same as Mo and I like the ice cream as it was really hot today. What yeah. sort of gifts did you get this Eid? This year, obviously, almost like every year. I asked for roller skates, and this year I got roller skates. Um, fell a few time while trying Aww. them on. Um, I got Lego, like a Lego type thing, and then I also got like a yo-yo. Wow, how about you? I got um, a cookie set, of, and I got a Lego set of um, Lego fans. And um, um, yeah, that's what I got. What do you like to make with your cooking set? I like to make this um, chopping up the broccoli because like they're stuck together and I, I like to chop them up. They make a nice noise, don't yeah. they? Um, I got a remote control car and a Lego car. I got um, a board game, Monopoly, and also got a cricket bat because I really like cricket. Do you like playing it with your friends? Family? Yeah, I really like playing it with my brothers and cousins. Mm. I got money and shoes. Money and shoes. What type of shoes? Tights. Tights. Um, I believe that you're going to give us a performance. Yeah, it's a poem about the meaning of Surah Ikhlas. And yeah. You can start whenever you want. Say he, Allah is one, he is enough for everyone. He's not a father, has no son, he's not like anything or anyone. What, do, what does that poem mean to you? It tells us about Allah and how people have said that he has a son, which he doesn't. And yes, and it explains a lot. I want to say like he's independent of all the power he has in him and this world. Mm. 
Do you guys have a message for our viewers watching today for Eid? Um, yes. Um, today is the day of Eid. Um, we have three days of Eid. Um, and um, I think I've heard one reason why Ramadan was made is so that we um, know and fe feel how other people who don't, they're, they're not as fortunate as us who like don't have much of an opportunity or don't like have much wealth. So um, Ramadan is like um, uh, a month of where we get to like feel how other people feel like in the world. So today is Eid and I think um, some people in around the world can't have all the things we have and the happiness that we have because they don't have food, they don't have new clothes. And so I think we should donate and keep them in our prayers so they would be happy and they would get the things that we have. Um, we, um, the people who are poor around the world don't have money to like gather around and celebrate together and eat. So if we pay the needy people, then Allah will give us a reward back. Mm -hmm. Also, we have to mention them in our prayers because they're suffering from lots of diseases and illnesses. So we have to mention them in our prayers. And also, they don't have a roof. You never know they have a roof. They don't have a roof above their head, and we do. We're um, blessed with that, and we have to donate zakat, which is one of the five pillars of Islam. So we have to donate and pray for them. Alhamdulillah, we have things like food and money, clothes, and clean water. Um, but some people around the world, they don't have that, and they can't celebrate their Eid with their families, enjoy, or some, um, not even have food. And we, we can help them by donating and praying for them and, and doing as much as we can to help them. How have you all found this Ramadan? Like, what, what did you like? What were you finding hard? It was very. Uh, did you keep your fast? It, it was. It was very hard to do um, some fasting at school because there's so much learning going on and your head starts to get a headache, and also uh, like, yeah, it's just so much learning that your brain just hurts and then you need some rest and yeah. For me at the start I feel fine, but then slowly I feel better and better, and then when it's getting to the end of the fast I get a bit worse and that's. Um, when I, at the beginning of Ramadan, um, obviously like the first day when you wake up for um, Seher or Sahur, um, you eat uh, like thoughts so that you have lots of energy for the day coming ahead of you. Um, so <clears throat> so um, like when I wake up for Ramadan, um, the food smell, I, I get woken up by mm. um, well, whoever's making the stuff in the house, um, I get waken up by the noise and I just go sit down and wait for the food to come. Um, and the food smell I get, I'm not used to it. Like, like getting up like in the middle of the night, starting to eat proper meal. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not that used to it. So it, it was um, quite tough for me at the beginning of the days, but I slowly, 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 um, it was getting better and um, better. Ramadan was not so fun, but also um, it went um, past very quickly. Mm -hmm. Is there something you like to eat at Sahur particularly or? I no. Maybe like probably something cold, like a cold yogurt or something. Mm -hmm. How about you? Um, I think that um, the start of Ramadan is easy because the days are shorter but when Ramadan the the days get longer while you're fasting so I think the um, for, first few days are easy because they're shorter and I think Ramadan is really fun. Hmm. Um, so the first 10 days of Ramadan you might wake up and ask your parents but for breakfast but then you suddenly realize you're fasting <laughs> but in the second 10 days you wake up you probably think 
is how uh, you might eat, but then you um then you realize again that he's fasting. But the last ten days, you um don't even think about eating. Hmm. Do you fast like every day in Ramadan, or do you do weekends? Normally, I don't fast that much. Hmm. Um. Uh. So most I only fast sometimes in the school days and sometimes on weekends. How about you guys? Um, um, this I uh, this year in Ramadan, my attempt was to like fast for the whole month. I did my best because, mm. like you know, in Ramadan in months you can get sick. So I tried my best. Um, I didn't get to keep all of them, but I think I got to um keep my fast half and like half of them and like a bit more further than half so yeah how about you guys um so when i saw when i said <coughs> you have to wake up at the middle of the night at budget time and also if you have a school next day it's very hard to get some sleep and yeah so it's kind of tough but sometimes when you get when you, the day's going you get used to it so yeah, I really liked it. For the past two years and this year included, I've been doing all of them. Mashallah. So yeah, that's what my record. My I try my best to do all of them every time. It's very good. Going back to Eid, is there like a favorite Eid that you remember, or how about that? Um, one of my favorite Eid was like probably in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty. Um, we all got together. I remember like a few days before Eid. We all we all got remote control racing cars, um, like before, and then like once again we also got um remote control cars this year for Eid as well, um, and like I remember how we also like did a Zoom call type thing, um I remember how my auntie gave me like a craft art and craft set, um I also remember. Um, like um, eat eating, um, like w- after we prayed, um, at the mosque, everyone came. We gathered up at the house and we had like um, we ate breakfast. We had fun. Um, uh, I I remember like the next day, our remote control cars broke cause, cause they could go up on the walls in wow. the roof. So that was the thing they would they would keep on falling down. So when the people left, they were completely broken. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What about you? Um, so, um, what was the question? What's, like, what's your favourite Eid memory or do you have a particular favourite Eid? I have a favourite Eid. It was when I was, I think, five. So that was when we got like 11 gifts. Wow. So, um, I really enjoyed it. Also, um, then... Yeah, so I really enjoyed it because we got 11 gifts and I kept counting and thinking I could miss some gifts mm. so I could have got more. <laughs> you? Um, so one time uh, we went some to our other cousin's house and we had like sweet boxes to give them and they gave us sweets too. And then they gave us like even more gifts than before went before from our other cousins. Um yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um I think we had the remote controls car, I remember when we got our gifts, we all started racing each other. <laughs> and um I think one Eid, I think it was last year or something, it was raining and I don't like rainy Eids because then usually we can't go to the park and win the mask mm. together. So I don't like rainy Eids really. I like sunny Eids. I like to go to the <coughs> park during Eid because obviously we're Eids yeah. are in summer. But it's so annoying when it's raining because then you can't wear your clothes and everyone's stuck inside and it's boring. But what about you? Same as my um, 2021. It was just a different experience because it was a quarantine that was also. So we all did a Zoom call together and basically, yeah. Do you have like lots of family outside of the country or is was everyone in um, England? No, we like like so we have family like basically we have family in Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, wow. probably Australia, America, I'm not sure where they live. 
but um, mainly like um, close cousins, like each other. I'm the only close cousins we have from my dad's side. But um, yeah, my dad's uh, cousins, um, so they also live here. So we have quite a lot of cousins. And one fact about me and my sister, we're the like only child, like girl children in, in our family. Wow. Wow. Do you find it to be lonely sometimes at Eid or do you get like stuck in with the boys? How does it feel? Um, sometimes I get stuck in with the boys, <laughs> but um, uh, sometimes we also like we get a bit sad because uh, like we don't have anyone to play with and all the boys are playing their games on their consoles and stuff, but it's okay. What sort of games do you, the two of you just play on Eid? Um, we mainly just laugh around, chase each other and basically that's what we just do. Mm. That's so fun. Um, I believe that your entire group will be doing a nasheed for us yes. today. Um, how would you like to start? Yeah, Habibi, Ya Shafi'i, Ya Rasulullah Fi Ummi wa Abi, Fadaytu ka Sayyidi Salatu wa Salam, Alayka Ya Nabi Habibi Ya Muhammad Fadayta bis Salam wal Huda Muhammad Habibi Ya Thank you so much, mashallah. Well, I think that's the end of our show today and we want to thank all of our viewers for watching. Um, we want to wish them another fantastic Eid Mubarak. Uh, we hope you really enjoyed and good luck to all of you. Thank you for coming. And we would like to wish you all a happy Eid Mubarak and a great rest of your evening. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak.